Capricorns, this is Vicki Burley, the Rock and Roll Prophetess. I am a psychic tarot reader with over 30 years experience and I do psychic astrology and channeling and all different kinds of things. This is the reading for July for Capricorn Sunrise and Moon. The decks we're going to use is the, my deck, the Rock and Roll uh, Tarot deck, which I designed. And then we're going to follow up with a card from the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards, which is also my own design. If you are a level 2 Patreon supporter, there will be three additional cards pulled from the songs for the journey home. Now, I'm kind of going back to my old format for you, my regular viewers, at least for this month. I may change it up from time to time. It was mixed reviews, so um, we'll go with this. Uh, there is going to be, this wants to come first and then this. There is going to be another eclipse in your sign, Capricorn. Um, oh, by the way, I have shuffled these up thoroughly in between the readings. Uh, I don't see the point of endless shuffling on the video. So then what I'm doing now is we're just doing this loose shuffle to allow Spirit to pull the cards out for our Capricorn friends for the month of July uh, 2020. I I There's so much to tell you. I have so much to tell you. Let me get these cards out and then we'll get into it. Let's do this one. Okay. Um, yeah, so there's another eclipse in your sign. I think this is the last one uh, in our sign. You know, I have to, from re people who aren't my regular viewers, you know, I'm a Capricorn too, so this is, you know, I'm with you. I'm with you. This is for Capricorn Sun Rising and the Moon. Um, and if you don't know all of your Sun Rising and Moon stuff, you can go to my website and get a free astrology printout and then I have a video you can purchase to, you know, see, understand, try to understand it a little better if you don't understand all that stuff. It's worth doing, it, even if you don't get it from me. It's worth understanding at least your rising sign, because so much is based on your rising sign. And understanding the, the house's systems and stuff like that. But anyways, back to this. Full moon eclipse in your sign. As if we haven't been through enough <laughs> in 2020, Capricorn. Jeez. You know, we've had, we had the Saturn-Pluto con, uh, conjunction, uh, and then we have, you know, we had this, all, all these eclipses, and then now we have another eclipse. Um, but this is a full moon eclipse, so a full moon eclipse is always going to be like a time of releasing, a time of letting go. You know, the very first card out is the full. These two cards, this one has been out, I think, in every single reading. So I think as a society, we're going to kind of be getting back into action. This is where we're, we're staying away, or we're healing, or we're being, you know, this would be like the sanctuary, or what do they call it? Not sanctuary. Seclusion, or where we're saying, you know, where we were shut down, where we had to stay inside. And this could be like many places are getting back into, you know, reality here, getting back into our, our, our other lives. Fool is you're setting your foot upon a new path. You're being freed. You're being freed from bondage, you know, even though the devil card isn't here, which is our card. That's what this eclipse is doing. It's getting, and you can move forward without all that heavy baggage. So if there's been things that have been, there's things you've been wanting to do, and it's like, well, I can't do it because I, I you have all these burdens that you've been carrying, Capricorn. And we're good at that, Capricorns. We carry our burdens around. We take our burdens seriously, right? <laughs> um, now you just have this little bit to take with you. You're free to go. There's not, you're, you're unencumbered, you're free to go, and that's beautiful. I love that the wheel, you have wheel and, and world here, are beautiful, both two beautiful cards, but wheel is a very a beautiful card. Wheel is, things are on the upswing. When the wheel is up, things are turning upward. You know, they're turning upward, and it's also a card of fate and destiny, and often eclipses will do that. Everybody's, oh, is if eclipse is going to be eclipsed, everybody gets all freaked out and afraid of eclipses and stuff, but eclipses are course corrections very often and that's another message that will come through with the wheel of fortune um our courses have been corrected our our path has been cleared that's really what i'm getting here so some of you have i hope this is true because i'm thinking of a specific thing for me and in my case this thing has been around for some years there's been this bird and, I, and if it's gone that would be a, and my path is clear that would be a very beautiful thing it could be yours, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune. And, you know, with these eclipses even, I mean, it could be even something that all the way back to you know, right around that time of the um, Saturn-Pluto thing that we had back in January there. Uh, I have that written down somewhere amongst all my stuff here. That was that, was that January um, 12th thing, you know, that was, uh, and then we have this eclipse in our sign. So it could have been something like just this year, but it, for some people, I mean, it could be all the way back to like 2001. 
that's the last time we've had these this round of eclipses. It could be something that's been you know a burden for you all the way since then. And you're it also t it, it's a it's like a freedom from karmic restraints. Like your your debt has been paid, your burden is over. Like this would be the guy almost like getting released from prison, you know. You know, they give you whatever, they give you here's a little bit of this and off you go. And he's like, yeah, I don't care, I'm off I go, I'm happy to get out of here. I'm happy to get out of here. I, could, I almost want to make that to the headline. Because <laughs> that came through pretty strong. You do have a Queen of Cups here. Now the Queen of Cups is probably a person. doesn't have to be a female person, but it could be a Scorpio, a Cancer, a Pisces. Also can represent a time frame. And we will be in the time of water. For the majority of the month. We'll be moving from water to fire on the 22nd. Another thing that's happening is we will be having another new moon. We had a, a, a solar eclipse in Cancer and then we're having another new moon in Cancer on the, on, I keep wanting to say the 28th because it's 28 degrees but it's actually on July 20th. So that could be too. Something you know you could really change gears right well anyway any time during the month but I'm really kind of wanting to hone in on that uh, new moon on the 20th there and it's good victory triumph success getting your just rewards your freedom I just want to say your freedom I mean some of you maybe you're getting divorced I hope I mean I'm sorry if that's the case for you but I think for most people um, it's like uh, you know, it's like some kind of success moving forward. And you're going to be in good with this group here. Well, maybe some of you will get a loan. It might be a bank. Um, but it could be school. It could be getting a job for a big company. It could be, you know, the Hierophant is a group that a lot of people belong to. And it does re represent, like, structural things. And a lot of times people are really turned off by that structural thing. But in you, you know, Capricorns, you kind of like that. You know, you kind of like it being structure or being part. You know, corporate. It could be corporate America, but this success leads to you being involved in this group. And it's interesting because the Wheel of Fortune is right by here too. So it might. It well, it's fated and destined that you would be a part of this group. Number one. But it also sometimes Wheel of Fortune is like just things kind of. Wow, that w that was a lucky break, or just seems sort of wow. How'd that happen? You know. And it, it could be like that. You have the world down here. The world is bigger, better, more than you've ever imagined. More success, more whatever. This person is going to be more important to, in your life, or or do you help you out more than you ever imagined? You know, we meet people all the time, and we never know who's going to be our long-term friend, or you know, who these people are going to be in the long run. But. Um, you know, this one says it's the world, so that's really sweet. It's the world, it's going to be long term, it's going to be, you don't see it from this vantage point, is another thing with the world. The world says it's going to be bigger than you ever imagined. Big breakthroughs of things that have been stalemate or walls that you haven't been able to break through, you're breaking through these walls. Um, the emperor is down here too, whether male or female, the emperor is somebody in position of power authority. When the emperor shows by this, uh, the hierophant here, when you get these two together like this, very often this is, this is like the CEO of some big corporation or something like that. Or, you know, the big, big boss person uh, and the world. The world can also mean international travel or something that's going to go worldwide. I'm hearing um, that ZZ Top uh, tune. Yes, I'm bad, 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 bad. I'm nationwide. <laughs> I don't have no copyright infringement, but I don't think by going ba down I'm really copyright infringing anything. You'd be lucky if you could, uh, by my little uh, rendition there, that if you could even pick up what song it was. But anyways, let me start shuffling up these animal tomes. You know, another thing I am, I'm, that last eclipse sol solstice thing is still powerful energy. It goes on three to six months. People are still ordering it. So I'm going to extend it maybe about a week or so into the first week of July. So if you're watching this in June or you're watching it in early July, you can still get in on um, that reading. It's a very useful tool and it's really popular. And uh, that's why I'm so late getting these readings up because I've been really you know, working hard to get everybody's done in a timely fashion. But it's a very powerful reading. Check it out if you're interested. Let me go ahead and shuffle up our animal totem card for our Capricorn friends. I almost said Scorpio. Ladybug, luck. 
luck be a lady tonight. Yeah, you get luck. Um, both of these cards also can re represent luck. A lucky break, a lucky turn of events, something happening where you're the winner. You know. Let's read what I wrote initially on this card. Lucky lady of the garden, heartbringer of happiness and joy. Rid my life of obstacles that are destructive to my divine right to flourish. Yeah. It looks like you guys can be, all of us, can be uh, flourishing in a big way this month, Capricorn. So I was a little, I was like, oh, geez, now they're clips, oh, my God, you know. But by looking at this reading, it looks like it's fantastic, you know. It looks like it's really going to take things turn for better. And then anything that's being eliminated, because it is a lunar eclipse, and that is eclipsing things out or eliminating things, it's for our highest good. For It's going, it's rid my life of obstacles that are destructive to my divine right to flourish and then we're free. Uh, that could be a good mantra if you wanted to do some kind of like a little ritual or anything on that full moon eclipse. But I don't know if I mentioned it's July 4th, yeah. Rid my life of obstacles that are destructive to my divine right to flourish. You know, that's, that's how you could use, harness the power of that instead of being a victim to the eclipse, you know harness the power of it. Okay, Caps, if you enjoy my content and want to see more, please do hit the subscribe. I know a lot of people say they can't find my stuff. Uh, so if you hit that subscribe, I'll show up in your list there. All the information about my decks, my t-shirts, the readings, and all that are in the description of this video, so please check that out if you're interested. If you are a level 2 Patreon subscriber, I am going to, we're going to do three more cards from the Songs for the Journey Home. Um, the way I do this, instead of a, a pay-per-view per each video, you pay one price on Patreon, and then you have access to all 12 bonus readings. So these three cards are part of the bonus reading for Patreon Level 2. If you're interested in that, find out. The information is all in the description. It's all very thoroughly there. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, donating. I appreciate you so much. Have a great month in July. Great lunar eclipse. And talk to you next time.